okay so let's start our collection framework in java so before enter into the collection framework concept first we should understand why we need collection classes suppose i want to represent a variable in a program a single variable in a program or i wanted to store a single data through my program then i declare a variable is called int a i just give a name as a suppose i wanted to declare one more variable then i use another statement int b assume that i wanted to declare 1000 variables or 10000 variables in my program then how can i declare that variable is it possible to give 1000 variable name or 10000 variable name is it possible even though it is possible it is a meaningless it is not a good programming method so we should be go for some other methods so what is that yes it is a array so array is a collection of data which help us to store more number of data in a single name so suppose i create a class is called employee i wanted to create 1000 object for class employee then you know what is the statement so first statement first thing is a class name employee then second one is a object name then third one is a new then employee thousand so meaning of this statement is we are creating thousand objects under the class employee then it will be represent like this so first employee data will be stored in the first position second employee data will be stored in the second position similarly thousand employee data will be stored in this position so for accessing these employee objects we can use a common method is called index so this one is 0 this is 1 similarly this is 999 so this is the concept of array okay so now we may think we are having the array concept right then why we go for collection classes even though array is that in all the programming languages but it have some limitations so we'll be see the limitations one by one 